negatives, here's all the negatives, but what's the solutions? Clearly, there's something that works. If I came right from here, you know what I'm saying, able to ascend. If they want to put it off and say it's only because I was a good athlete, that's a bunch of hogwash. Because we got how many great athletes around here? So clearly, that ain't, that ain't it, just being a great athlete. I'm like, that's disrespectful. There has to be something inside you to go to ascend to greatness. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So I said, I said hey, the story, you got to dig a little deeper. Channel 10 is digging a little deeper, saying we ain't just going off saying, oh, it's only because he's a good athlete. That's how they want to write it off. Well, that's, that's a lie. How about, how about character? How about determination, perseverance, unbreakable belief, teamwork? How about, how about things of integrity that folks can, can respect? You know what I'm saying? It's like, was that, is that what got me undergrad and grad? Is that what sent me to Wharton? That's how I wrote three books too, huh, right? That's why I'm a great dad of three. That's also why I'm, oh yeah, all that's because of just, I was good at football. Come on, man, stop it. Roland Williams is a success story. He's also a champion. We're gonna show you how he's now helping transform some local kids into champions too. But first, the story begins in a much more troubling place. A lot's going on here that are not just uh, crimes that, that show up on TV, but, but crimes of the mind, of the heart, mm -hmm. of the spirit. It's not a beautiful thing to be the smartest guy in class. Like, people clown you for being smart. I remember one of the kids one time who was in, you know, lockdown, I never forget, I, I'm not supposed to, wasn't supposed to ask what they did wrong, but I asked. And one of the kids told me, he said, Ro, I, you know, I, I, you know I, I hurt somebody, I killed somebody. And I said, why? And the kid said, because the person stepped on my shoes and disrespected my mom. For me, I didn't know I was going to go to the NFL. Right. That wasn't uh, the, the, the first dream of mine. I just wanted to be successful at whatever I did, and I realized I was special. It's about helping young men learn how to stand and defend the cause, which is them. And I will tell everybody who does not know, who hasn't spent time inside of our schools, I have been there, they need our help. Where you are today, if you believe and you work at it, you can be great tomorrow. Well, that, is that what got me undergrad and grad? Is that what sent me to Wharton? That's how I wrote three books too, huh, right? That's why I'm a great dad of three. That's also why I'm, oh yeah, all that's because of just I was good at football. Come on, man, stop it. That's a lie. A Rochester native, Super Bowl champion and fighter for his hometown because he knows firsthand that for kids to succeed in Rochester, it won't be easy. As Roland points out on the Champion Academy website, Rochester, New York is number one in high school dropout rates of black and Latino males in the U.S., number one in extreme poverty among mid-sized cities in the U.S., and number four in single family homes in the U.S. How can kids have a chance growing up in this environment for a first-hand look, check out Roland's story. His is like any kid's story, growing up right here on the streets of Rochester. In fact, he grew up right across the street from here, where just a few weeks ago, all hell rang out. Tragic breaking news out of the city of Rochester. Three people killed, four injured. A drive-by shooting overnight on Genesee Street outside the Boys and Girls Club. And he didn't deserve this. I'm 56 years old. I am afraid of being shot and gunned down by a black. Incredibly sad. Multiple people shot, lives taken, families torn apart. I love it, that's about all I can do. Our hearts are with you, sir. Thank you. The mass shooting is just the latest in a long list of disturbing facts that are literally killing the city of Rochester. On top of what we told you earlier, Bloomberg Business finds that Rochester is one of the top 20 cities Americans are ditching. Are you shaking your head wondering, how on earth is this Rochester? Where are the bold new ideas from our leaders? After all, these problems aren't new. In an interview recorded just days before the shooting, you'll see Roland's story of 30 years ago is the same story as today. When, when I look back on it now, you know, it's like the amount of violence that's here, the amount of uh, pain that's been on these very corners, the gang members, all the foolishness, you know what I mean, that, that, that made this neighborhood real for me, you know what I mean? It's, it's ridiculous. When you, when you think back on like things like gunshots or sirens or noise, I literally as a kid got so used to it that I couldn't sleep almost unless I heard drama or noise every night. Like some kids sleep good when it's quiet. It took me all the way up to like my days in college to learn how to sleep in silence. I used to have to turn the radio on all night. I just literally couldn't do it and it's because 
This is what you get accustomed to. The convenience store is like a hotbed for activity and foolishness. And so when you're a young kid, every time we get a quarter, a dime, a nickel, anything together, you always go to Freddy's Mini Mart to spin it, you know, you know, something. And so when you go back and forth to a convenience store, this is a place where you can get, you get mentorship in the wrong way. Oh, okay. And you're seeing guys who, 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 who are in gangs, or guys are doing drugs, guys that are not doing the right thing. You know, that this is what you see. One of the biggest challenges that students now and back when I lived in this neighborhood was that you don't know what you don't know. Like if you're not exposed to uh, successful people who, who have a different life or a different perspective or who see things differently, you actually think what you do is actually normal or what you do is actually right or what you think is actually moral or just. But I remember one of the kids one time who was in you know, lockdown I never forget, I, I'm not supposed to, wasn't supposed to ask what they did wrong, like what, why, you know, why they was there. But I asked, and one of the kids told me, he said, Ro, I, you know, I, I, you know I, I hurt somebody, I killed somebody. And I said, why? And the kid said, because the person stepped on my shoes and disrespected my mom. And the sickest part about it was, was that from, our principles of values and morals right. actually understood. Sure. I understood him. But the worst crimes of all may be the ones we don't see or hear. That, when we come back.